All right, well, you might be stressing about hosting for the holidays and getting together the perfect spread to impress your loved ones. Now, to help us serve up a successful celebration, we're sharing secrets from a caterer for the stars. Yes, and my friend Mark Savitas of Aleko's Restaurant and Catering is here to give us the inside scoop. Yes. I'm making him spill the beans here. So, Mark, <laughs> you've catered for, like, sports teams, um, like, you know, Detroit Tigers, Toronto mm -hmm. Maple Leafs, everybody who's coming to town has you cater for them uh, so obviously you're used to feeding a lot of people and sort of demanding you know um, so how do you pull it off oh how do we pull it off there's a lot of ways we pull it off but I tell you what first of all thank you guys for having me of course it's uh, it's a it's a job in itself a lot of planning a lot of preparation a lot of organization, but mm -hmm. I gotta tell you, all of this was prepared very quickly, very easily. We did it the day before. Okay, so yesterday you did all of this. Yep. Okay. okay. Making so today stressful. Yeah. Stre stress free. <laughs> stress free, right. So just it's yep. all about the planning and prepping, right? Exactly. Well here's the thing. We want, you know, to take your experience and expertise mm -hmm. to help people at home feel like, you know, they can be a pro too. So what's the first thing that someone should consider when hosting um, a big group of people at home? Or anywhere for that matter. I would say know your audience, you know. Yeah. I would say kind of come up with a plan, come up with a menu that you think is going to work, something that's not going to stress you out because you're already stressed out yeah. enough on the day of the event. But coming up with a menu, a simple geared towards them, and you would work great. So you you prep ahead of time, but I've also noticed by some of the things that you brought, it doesn't necessarily have to be traditional, right? No. You. It, these are all festive looking dishes, mm -hmm. but it's not turkey stuffing cranberry. It's, you know, yeah. okay. Exactly. It's like you you broaden the horizon. So how would you like, there are, you could make a meal out of kebabs, yeah. for instance. Correct, yes. Okay, show us how to make a kebab. Absolutely, yeah. So we could, you could do it a couple different ways. We obviously did some Christmas ones with green peppers, red peppers, but people like pineapple, mm -hmm. you can make a pineapple kebab. You could put different peppers here. Oh, of course you could put a pineapple yeah. on that, I get what and you're saying. Gloves. Gloves are key, right? you guys. You all want to wear gloves, even at home. Like so many people, you oh, know, I just because you're home, home yeah. you know, you're out in the world, you're coming home, there's germs even everywhere. Even when you wash your hands, okay. you don't, Absolutely. you know, still feels good to have gloves on, but so, all of this feels practical. Simple kebab, super could, easy to do. I could yeah. do that. You, John, you could even do that at home. <laughs> and then one of the things that I love to do with our kebabs, uh -huh. so we oh, marinate our kebabs for 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we take them and that juice Ooh. just sits in there. You could do some olive oil, mm -hmm. some garlic okay. in your marinade, right. but you just take that marinade and you just pour it right over your chicken, okay. all oh. that, and you let that soak in there overnight in the fridge okay mm -hmm. so tasty the next day gets all that flavors in there right exactly yeah. so and you so you made we like did the same salad thing. <laughs> on a kebab we, we did a caprese kebab Very with nice. the Christmas theme going with a little basil some it looks mozzarella great. And some then cherry tomatoes dessert all, dessert it's all looks very healthy it all looks super approachable like when yes. I see this I'm like John I could do this we could, <laughs> we could do this so yes yeah, so, well, okay so what if we <laughs> could like, we're not doing all that. Well, we could it's simple <laughs> it's easy <laughs> but okay so what if you have like the the best intentions and everything's like planned out but then you figure out oh my gosh I've just taken way too much on mm. you've got some really creative options that are easy absolutely where yeah. are those uh, items at? Hmm. Well, we have some fun ideas that we also thought of for the holidays. Ooh, you have secrets. Okay. Look at so this. We created a Christmas wreath that oh, yeah, you guys that could do with so your pizza. so we could get a shot of it. Check That's that awesome. Check that out, guys. So, pizza as a Christmas Absolutely. Christmas wreath. I love that. 100%. Yep. Okay. I can see kids going absolutely oh, crazy And you can make for your this. wreath however you want. We did a little bit of arugula on it, pepperoni, red pepper for our little bow. That's adorable. But uh, you can make it however you want. And you've got more, right? We do, yeah. Oh, wait, there's Again, more. it's like for kids. Oh, it's also for adults too, though, John. Look, so look at that. You got a snowman. Yeah. Check yeah, that out. Snowman. <laughs> That's adorable. That's Simple, absolutely adorable. Simple, easy to do. Kids love it. And I think we have one over by you, John. Okay. okay. Look at this one. This is like the crescendo. It's a Christmas it's tree. It's a Christmas tree. Making Christmas fun, you know? This is beautiful. So it's 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 non-traditional. Hundred percent. But feasible. <laughs> and festive. Festive, festive. and feasible. Very, we should very, very very feasible. Festive and feasible. <laughs> All right, so let's say you're running out of time, right? Yes. What dishes can you skip and what dishes should you make a priority? Okay. You know? I would skip the traditional 
turkey, the okay. traditional chicken. I would make I would make the pizzas the priority if it was me. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone's going to talk about it. It's a great conversational piece. Mm -hmm. Kebabs are always fun. Yeah. We've got a Christmas lasagna over there, a veg uh, looks great. vegetable lasagna, decorated Christmas style. And, the, and actually, lasagna can be a traditional dish with people who are like from the Mediterranean. Well, you're you're yeah, Italian, right? Exactly. So. Yeah, that's how we grew up. No, yeah. it looks. This looks amazing. All right. Well, Mark, tell everyone a little about your catering, your restaurant, and your catering yeah. business. Yeah. Yeah. Alecos has been in business for 30 years. We specialize in ribs, chicken, pizza, pasta. We do a ton of catering, but I think one of the most important things about Alecos that we do is. We use it as a mission field to kind of help others in the neighborhood and the communities. A lot of the patrons that come into Aleko's proceeds of their sale to our restaurant goes to helping the homeless, goes to helping those in need, people wow. in churches, schools, hospitals, and elderly. We do beautiful. a lot of give back charity part of the program. That's so that's awesome. what the holidays are all about. Absolutely. That's right, except you're doing it year round. We and do, we, we love do. that, that's awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you yeah. for having me, guys. What are you guys? eating first? What are you making? <laughs> well, I could make these pizzas. <laughs> okay. I could do that. Okay. You are an art major, right? That's yes. right. Yeah. So this is, like, this could get me in the kitchen. Okay, <laughs> there you have yeah. it. Yeah. 